Hello my darlings. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. So today, as you can see from the title, I want to focus on the sexiest, sexiest designer fragrances. Particularly designer because I really want to share the spectrum that is available for everyone. So guys, these are the most sexy, sensual, men-eater fragrances that are out there from designer range. So if you're interested, stay tuned and keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like that and also follow me on Instagram. And let's jump right in. So the first one, a honey bomb, very sensual, Sweet, sexy, perfect for nighttime, Scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier. I love this fragrance for from the first time I smelled it, I loved it. And I smelled it first years ago at the airport with my mom and we were both blown away. Which my mom doesn't always love the same fragrances as me, let's be honest. But this one... It's so warm, it's very inviting, but it's also perfect for clubbing. I feel like you can really not go wrong because it is very sexy and out there, but at the same time it's super unique because that honey is so prominent, uh, unlike in any other fragrance, especially from the designer range. So get yourself some scandal to be very scandalous. And yeah, roll with it, girl. Uh, to me, this is very long lasting. Uh, also, I really love Scandal by Night, which I'm definitely getting soon. Uh, but this one is a classic, is definitely more unique and prominent on the honey. So there you go. Super sexy, men love it. So that's that. Another one, Amber Bomb. Absolute Amber Bomb. All these fragrances, by the way, are very long lasting. So I don't want to repeat myself too much, but I'm probably going to, going to anyways. But this one is Amber Bomb. And that is Olympia Intense. And as you can see, I still have the old version, thankfully. Uh, I have a new one in Soap Africa. But yeah, I think the Intense version doesn't really differ when it comes to the new packaging and old packaging. So don't really worry about that. This is vanilla, amber and salt and there is nothing more to it, nothing more. But this amber is done so uniquely, very sweet, sickly sweet actually, but at the same time it's super oriental and I feel like men love this, it's super sexy. Whenever I wear it, I feel like a powerhouse of sex appeal, I really, really do. Because it's summery and at the same time very cozy and warm, it's like the best of both worlds. It's perfect for any, any time of the year, maybe not in a very, very high heat during the day, but it's summer nights, you're good, you're good. Very long lasting and potent. If you love amber and if you love sweet fragrances, you have to have it. You just have to have it. And uh, this is more sexy than the original Olympia, uh, which I love so much, but this one is like, mm in your face sexy. All right, next one is a little bit popcorn, a little bit ylang ylang, coconut, vanilla, some floral, some peach. It's nice. I have quite a love-hate relationship with this one, but at the moment I'm loving it. I'm loving it and I must say, this is so sexy guys, so, so sexy. Very deep and mysterious, but at the same time girly and inviting. It's very nice. And that is Pure XS by Paco Rabanne. Definitely a mainstream kind of fragrance, but it has its own uniqueness and I think there is a time and place to wear it. And if you want to feel sexy, that is the time. That is the time. Uh, as I said, it's popcorn, ylang ylang, it's a lot of vanilla, some peach, some coconut. Some people say it's quite similar to Olympia. I don't really agree. To me, it goes in a different direction. Uh, to me, it's more floral, like yellow floral, a little bit of coconut. That peach is quite prominent on my skin as well. Uh, to me, it's also maybe not mature, but definitely on the sensual side. 
Mm, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Another super sweet fragrance. Uh, but yeah, that popcorn note on me is very faint. I don't really get too much of a popcorn note, unfortunately, because I wish it had more of it. But it's still very good. It's still very good. Um, yeah, that that's not much more I can say. It's long lasting. It projects well. And I feel like this is one of the sexiest fragrances out there. The bottle says it all. Check it out, because I really like it at the moment. I really, really do. All right, now, of course, the classic, guys. I have to quickly mention it, because this is really sexy, and it's from the designer. And that is Alien by Mugla. This is, to me, the masterpiece. This is the fragrance I've been wearing since I was, like, 14 or 13. I don't know, but young. So good. So, so, so good. This is amber, endolic jasmine, woody notes, very sexy, very loud, out there. Um, it kind of leans um, a little bit soapy from time to time, the new formulation, but it's still alien. You, you still cannot go wrong with it. Just get it. If you're unhappy with the reformulation, I am too, but I still love it and use it. So that's Alien by Mugler, guys. It had to be here. All right, another one, a cheapy but absolutely a goodie. This is one of the sexiest fragrances from that price point. It really smells niche and it's definitely not in a niche price range. And that is Roberto Cavalli Nero Assoluto. This is mainly some floral notes, a little bit. But in the dry down and as it gets to the mid, it's mainly a beautiful, very woody vanilla. This is deep woods, there's ebony wood in here, which is a very dark, mysterious kind of note. Love this one. Uh, very feminine though. And I would say this is more of a mature fragrance. So, you know, if you don't want to be like sickly sweet, if you're tired of those sweetly sweet fragrances that I just mentioned, you might love this because this is very long lasting, very much on the projecting side, perfect and very, very unique and super sexy. If you like woody vanilla, this is the best choice of them all. I love it, the bottle is not bad either. So yeah, Roberto Cavalli, Nero Assoluto, love this one. There is some citruses in the top, but it faints away. So mainly you're left with lots of woodiness and sweetness from vanilla. All right, next one. This is the one that men absolutely love. This is more on the oriental side and this is the most floral fragrance that I'm gonna show you today. And that is Elisa Le Parfum. My boyfriend absolutely loves it. If you have watched our first video together when he was sniffing the fragrances that I gave him, he knew nothing about women's fragrances at that time. Now it changed, obviously. If you don't follow him, follow him <laughs> on YouTube and Instagram. <sighs> this is so good. This is another honey fragrance, but this is definitely more white floral based. This is mainly white florals, very oriental, beautiful. This is... A lot of orange blossom in here as well, which gives that fragrance massive oriental twist with jasmine. And um, there's also some patchouli, but I'm not bothered by it at all. This really blends together very, very well. Gorgeous longevity and sillage. Extremely sexy if you want to be on more classy, lavish, sophisticated side. In that price range, this is like your best bet. It really, really is. I love it. This is to me Princess Jasmine going on a date. So yeah, if you want to be Princess Jasmine going on a date, get yourself Elisa Le Parfum. All right, now, the fragrance that I didn't really like in the beginning, I really, really didn't. I, to be honest, hated it. Uh, to me, it smelled like dill. But now, I started really appreciating it, just in time that it's getting discontinued. Perfect, Paulina, perfect. But you still have time to get it. I'll link it down below as usual, so check it out. And that is my self-made cap and Marc Jacobs Decadence. Um, if you don't guys know already, I bought a tester bottle because the normal shebang was not available and I put cap from another perfume. But it kind of matches and it looks quite nice, doesn't it? And it's as, just not as bulky actually, so I like it. Anyways, this is very prominent plum 
amber fragrance. So also you get some saffron and there is some greenness to it. There definitely is greenness to it. But as it dries down, it gets into that very sweet plum accord along with amber. And I love that combination at the moment. Actually, I'm going to spray it on myself because, you know, the drill, you know, the shebang that we usually do here. Mmm, ow, 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 ow. It hurts me how sexy it is. I love it. A very long lasting and potent fragrance. So it's perfect for date nights. It's definitely a decadent one. Uh, very unique. I still feel like even though many people use it, you don't smell it usually on the streets or between the sheets. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. Anyways, um, very good one. Even though I didn't like it, now I love it. And my boyfriend, future husband, is in love with this is he just loves it it to him is very sweet so i think he picks up a lot on that sweet note from the plum but it's warm and green at the same time very interesting fragrance and definitely a sexy one super super sexy one all right next one what do we have here of course Versace Crystal Noir, another favorite of my boyfriend and mine as well. I've been using it for years. And you know, even though I ramble a lot about this on this channel, I had to put it on this list because this is designer sexiness in the bottle. And this is definitely a designer sexiness in the bottle. The sexy Versace perfume for sure. This is um, peony. So some floral, uh, you also get a lot of spiciness, you get some pepper here, you get a lot of amber, you get coconut. This is a very interesting mix, another very interesting mix here, but this one is definitely on the warm side. Uh, I love it, it's very like inviting and sensual, very boudoir, but it's not powdery, it's not powdery, but it's like very mm, Ita donna italiana going on a date, you know? I love it. I love it. So that's Crystal Noir. Another one which is newer to my collection and I love the EDT version. I've been talking too much about it and this is the EDP. And I must say this is definitely darker, sexier, more mature, more floral. Love it. This is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum. And this is a massive powerhouse. I know some of you have been struggling with the longevity of EDT after the reformulation. So if you want to have a powerhouse of a fragrance with the same DNA, get yourself EDT, EDP, sorry, EDP, get yourself EDP. Uh, this one is lacking that doughy Play-Doh smell that um, some people get in the EDT. This is dark licorice sexy still almond still vanilla still a bit powdery but not too much more on the white florals more oriental definitely more oriental it's still in the vanilla oriental realm but it has so much more to it it's a bit spicy i would even uh, suggest that it might be a bit unisex so if you have it spray it on your men and see how it works because i know some men wear it and some men swear by it, so that's good. Very good longevity, gorgeous, extremely sexy. It's been on the market for years and I don't see it getting discontinued anytime soon because it's so, so good. But yeah, they discontinued many great fragrances, didn't they? But that's another topic. I love this one, men love this one. It's fantastic. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. EDP. All right, and now last but guys, definitely not least, this is like my absolute sexy favorite fragrance uh, from the designer range. This is actually slowly replacing Alien for me because Alien got a little bit soapy, and this is like everything I want in the fragrance. This is Indolic Jasmine, some uh, orange flower, which I love, gives oriental vibes. This is some um, sandalwood, if I'm not mistaken. It's creamy, it's a lot of coconut, coconut punch actually, but very, very deep and warm. And vanilla, of course. Oof, 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 I 
adore this, adore this. And that is Dolce and Gabbana, the only one, intense. Super long lasting, it is by far the best out of the whole range. Even though the whole range is not bad, this exceeds the miles, miles. This is so good. Yeah, as I said, it has very alieny vibe to it. It has that jasmine that's very similar and amber. And the difference is that it has some neroli flower, orange flower and coconut. I am in love and I don't see any men not liking it because it's that sexy. It gives you everything. It gives you coziness because it's warm. It's inviting. Um, it's loud at the same time because, you know, it has those alien vibes from the jasmine that's very indolic. Love this. This is one of the best. I think if I was to choose only one from this list, I would go with this one to be completely honest with you. But that's just between us. Love this one. So definitely last but not least, Don Chingabana, the only one intense. And that is it, my lovely people. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what fragrance is sexy for you from the designer range. I would love to know. And I hope that you're gonna pick some scents from this list because they're really, really good. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.